Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Robo Linux. But before we get started, let me remind you, please like and subscribe my channel. Doesn't cost anything, and if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, if you do, you're entered into the contest for the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway that we're doing on August 31st, 2021. Okay, we are at Robo Linux's website. Robo Linux, probably a lot of y'all haven't heard about them. They got a pretty good distro. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up about, and what it is is they say an operating system for your world. They've been doing this system for 10 years. They offer optional expert tech support. They also have Stealth VM. They have C Drive to VM. And they also have a specific image that you can download for virtual machine that you can run Windows XP or Windows 7 right inside of it without losing any functionality and it's quick I just want to take a look here real quick let's close this out it's the mate or the mate desktop environment down here you've got console let's see if they've got htop installed out of the box and they do at present I'm running about 880 megs of the three gigs that I've got assigned to the PC I've also only issued it two cores of my CPU just to see how it operates on lower spec systems right off the bat it looks really good I don't know let's see here can we change desktop background see if we've got any kind of different backgrounds let's go with something that's a little less flashy let's go with that so let's close out we also got a file manager let's see what we got on the file manager here let's scooch this over okay it's got your basic file manager I don't know if can you make it any bigger yes there we go oh we don't want to go 200 percent we'll go to about 150 see where that gets us but you've got custom desktop file system over here are they locked into place and they are locked into place so that is your file manager let's close out of that and then let's open up the menu menu you've got all accessories you get the mate calendar the mate font viewer pluma and screenshot Administration, you've got install Robo Linux, login window, printers, software and updates. Let's look at the software program. There's software and updates. It's obviously based on Ubuntu because right off the bat, you've got Canonical and Ubuntu software right there and their repositories. Other software, Canonical Partners, Robo Linux Districts, and Canonical Partners. Updates, authentication, additional drivers searching for available drivers we're not going to worry about that developer option you can get pre-release updates if you want but i definitely would not do that because you might break your system and then live patch this is switched off you can turn it on and have live patches done in real time we don't want to do that so we're going to close the window we got synaptic package manager and users and groups graphics you've got eye of mate image viewer gnu image manipulation program or gimp and shotwell Installers, Robo Linux, Internet. You've got Deluge, Firefox web browser, Robo Linux 12 Plus. Interesting. Let's look at that. See what that is. Okay, 12 Plus gets you 100% untrackable, untraceable, and anonymous on the Internet. So that's all obviously a VPN, and that's what they're selling. Okay, so it's free and open source software. It's a free operating system, but then on top of that, you can buy extra things if you want them. So we're going to close out of that because I'm not interested in buying anything. Let's go back to the office. You got Atril Document Viewer, Preferences, Additional Drivers, Appearance. Let's see what kind of appearance settings we got in Mate. Okay, presently we're running a custom appearance and we can go to Black Mate. So we went Appearance, Displays, File Management, Keyboard, Keyboard Shortcuts, Main Menu, Mate Tweak. Now what is Mate Tweak or Mate? I'm sorry, Mate, Mate, I'm not sure. Show desktop icons, we can shut that off. Panel, show applications, show places, enable dock, enable HUD. So you got you got ways to customize your panel down here. So that's pretty good. So let's close out of that. Back to preferences. We got mouse, network proxy, onboard settings, pop-up notifications, power management, preferred applications, screen saver, sound, startup applications, time and date manager. Sound and video, you got Audacious, Brazero, VLC Media Player. System tools, you got Kaja, Gparted, HTOP, Mate Terminal, Software and System Cleaner, and then Universal Access, you got Onboard and Screen Reader. And then their settings is Control Center. So let's bring up Control Center. Administration, you can install Robo Linux, 
You can install Robo Linux 12.10, login window, printer, synaptic package manager, software updater, software and updates, and then users and groups. Then your additional drivers, displays, time and date, mouse, Bluetooth adapters, keyboard, power management, Bluetooth, keyboard shortcuts, and sound, advanced network configuration, network proxy, appearance. Let's see what we got in appearance. Background. We've already changed the background. Let's go with a different background. Fonts. Okay, so you can't scale all your fonts at once. What you have to do is go in and change each font manually and get it set up until you've got it the way you like and then interface. Show icons and menus. Show icons on buttons. So we will close out of that. Screensaver, main menu, mate tweak, windows, file management, preferred applications, onboard settings, assistive technologies, about me, let's look about. Live session user, don't need to worry about that. Language support, startup applications. Now what kind, what can we do down here? On the panel, properties. You can adjust your panel big or small. As you can see, it starts shrinking down. I don't want it too small because I like to see what I'm doing. Expand. Oh, okay, so you can narrow it down too. So you could expand it up and just run it from right there, but that doesn't look real good, so I'm gonna go there. We can auto hide it as well, and then it auto hides. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's shut that off. Backgrounds. You can go with a solid color as opposed to a background image, but I don't know why you would. So let's close out of that. What else we got down here? System is running on battery power, one hour and 18 minutes left. That's your notifications, that's your ethernet. So it's got two battery indicators. The speaker for volume, sound, BLC player, audacious sound setting. You can do it all right in here. And then date and time. Okay. I mean, just a small peek at Robo Linux. It's just another option in the Mate desktop environment. Seems like a really quick and snappy little operating system. Like I said, it hardly uses any resources right off the bat. It's using less than a gig of the three gigs I've got assigned at rest. It's using less than 1% of the CPU. You, I mean, it's definitely another option. If some of the other Linux distros you've seen don't quite catch your fancy, this one just might do it. Please do me a favor before you go, like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, it enters you into the contest that we're having. On August 31st, 2021, we're giving away an Asus ZenBook 14. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next video.